This is Norway, a land of mountains and fjords. The scenery may be breathtaking, but the terrain is mainly harsh and rugged. Its inhabitants have always had to plan ahead and work hard to earn a living. Our opportunities have been in what the land and sea could provide. Before the 1960s, no one knew that under the seabed, just off the North Sea coast, there lay a greater fortune than fish. Vast quantities of oil and gas that would transform the Norwegian economy. Today, Norway produces millions of barrels of oil every day for the world market. In the course of the first 50 years, we extracted about half of the oil resources. If we continue at the same pace, it is estimated to last for another 50 years. The fund is now the world's largest fund of its kind. The origins of the Norwegian oil fund lie in the 1960s. At that time, the Norwegian Prime Minister Einar Gerardsen and his staff were laying down the foundation for a prudent management of our petroleum resources. In 1963, the Norwegian government declared sovereignty over the country's continental shelf. International oil companies with resources and experience were awarded exploration licenses, but Norway remained in control. In 1966, exploration began, and in the next four years, 37 wells were drilled. But nothing was found. Most of the oil companies had given up. Philips Petroleum had only one well left to drill before it shipped out its last rig. And then, on December the 23rd, 1969, we finally struck oil. Ecofisk became the largest offshore field ever discovered. In the years to come, several more big fields went into production. Since then, Norway has been a world leader in offshore oil and gas exploration. The revenue from oil tax and the state's direct ownership has had a huge effect on the Norwegian economy, but it has been carefully managed by the government. For the first 20 years, the money was primarily invested in the oil industry and developing the country. But it became clear that oil revenues would be substantial, and the Norwegian Oil Fund was established by law to support the government's long-term management of petroleum revenues. In 1996, the first capital was transferred to the fund. The fund is owned by the Norwegian people and managed by Norges Bank, the country's central bank, on behalf of the Ministry of Finance. Its mission is to safeguard and build financial wealth for future generations. I think many experts told us that it was a bit naive to believe that a democratic society and a democratic system could manage such a big cash flow in a sustainable, responsible way. But the experience so far in Norway is that we have been able to do exactly that. It is the important pillars in managing the fund, that the fund is transparent, uh, that uh, investments are responsible, uh, that we have ethical guidelines. It really makes a difference. I think the size of the fund that we see today has exceeded all our expectations. The fund is um, uh, people's savings, which means that it needs to invest in a long-term perspective to make sure that we can benefit uh, living generations and coming generations. There have been several changes of government since 1996, but no matter who has led the Ministry of Finance, they have all agreed upon the main principles and rules of the fund. The fund was established based on a broad political consensus in Norway. It is important to keep that consensus. It is the people's money, owned by everyone, divided equally and for generations to come. Investments are global, and all are outside Norway. The assets are invested in three asset classes, equities, fixed income, and real estate. The fund's equity investments are spread across many companies and industries around the world to capture broad gains in stock markets and reduce the risk. 
Stock market returns have been good historically, but this is no guarantee of what will happen in coming years. Fluctuations in value is expected. But with the fund's unique characteristics, we can both manage and capitalize on these fluctuations. The largest geographic exposure is to Europe and North America, followed by developed economies in Asia, Oceania, and emerging markets. Fixed income investments are allocated to government and corporate bonds and securities, reducing short-term volatility. The investments in government bonds are allocated according to the size of the relevant country's economies. The fund is gradually increasing real estate investments to build a concentrated and global portfolio. The fund's objective is to achieve a long-term real return in excess of the growth of the global economy. Our global diversified and long-term investments contribute to a sustainable world economy and a stable business climate. Norges Bank Investment Management is an active investor in about 9,000 companies worldwide. It promotes good corporate governance standards and encourages businesses to improve social and environmental standards. We safeguard our investments through our dialogue with companies, other investors, regulatory bodies and other standard setters in the market. The fund is investing for future generations.